You share your love so easily Still I'm insecure I hear all the things you don't say So I can be sure But here we go again, go again Do my best to pretend, to pretend Yeah, here we go again, go again Do my best to pretend, to pretend Day, everybody welcome back to my channel today we are doing a good clean of the house and prepping meals for the rest of the week so this clean took me under an hour the meal prep took a little bit longer than that but the first things first I want you to get up and go change the sheets on your bed also, I started by folding the load that is in my dryer. There is always a load unfolded waiting in my dryer for days on end. So go ahead and fold that now. I also unloaded the dishwasher, cleared the sink, and then wiped down all the surfaces in stainless steel. Lastly, I just vacuum and mop the main busy areas of our house just to make everything feel fresh and clean. So everything I've done so far has only taken an hour and it really just sets the tone for the rest of the day. So today I want to bring you through my simple meal prep that really helps me stay on track and have things ready to grab and grow in the fridge throughout the week. So the first meal that we're making is just vegetarian chili. I love this one because it's so easy. I always do it at the beginning and then set the timer for four hours so that it's ready for dinner on Sunday night. It's so delicious. This is just my made up um, version of a chili, so really feel free to add or change any of this 
I'm no expert, I just do it by taste. So I start by using mini potatoes to line the bottom of the crock pot and add my green peppers and red onion. Actually, usually I use normal cooking onions, but we didn't have any. So I used red onion, which ended up being really colorful and pretty. And then I'm doing a double batch, so I'm using two packs of Beyond Meat Burger and then I'm adding in my crushed tomato can, a can of chickpeas, a can of black beans, a can of pinto beans, and you really can change the beans depending on if you like kidney, red, whatever you'd like. And then I'm adding some frozen corn. Um, to season, I'm just using chili powder and garlic powder and a little bit of cayenne pepper because we like a little bit of heat. You can also add sriracha at the end and I kind of leave that up to people. Some people who we all have for dinners throughout the week don't like sriracha. So it's good to just add that on the top. So go ahead and do that and then set for four hours and just forget about it. Nice and simple. something I made up over the holidays which is now like a staple in our home so this is a vegetable like quiche I want to say it's an it's a healthier version of a quiche so I just start by cutting up some broccoli and get that boiling because we'll need that for the filling and then the first thing you need to do is line your pan with sweet potatoes so I just thinly slice these sweet potatoes and cover them in a little bit of olive oil and pepper I don't even put salt in this recipe at all and then line the whole thing and that's gonna act as your crust now for the fillings I use a lactose free cottage cheese and I did nine eggs here I, it could have probably been 12 to fill the whole pan, but nine worked perfectly for us and the, these breakfasts last the whole week. So did nine eggs, whip those up, and then add in whatever fillings you like. So I did that broccoli that we put onto the stove. I cut up some red onions, some jalapenos, um, just adding in whatever you like, but make sure you keep some of the cottage cheese for the topping and then on the top I just put a little bit of cottage cheese and some thinly sliced tomatoes for decoration. I want to stay here with you All that we have is each other now I promise I won't leave your side Be who you are and you'll be enough If you're giving me your love prep isn't actually meals but I go ahead and wash the produce that I know will have quickly on the go so I washed up some grapes some berries and cut up and prep vegetables for lunches it, I can't even tell you how helpful this has been for when you're really really having a busy day and you can just grab that container of veggies and some hummus or dip and just have a quick and easy snack all your love. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without. Always eyes I 
stuck in me And he keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time all right, this final one's definitely not an every day or every week meal prep, but I make banana bread and everyone seems to like it, which is great because I'm not a good baker at all. But I just had so many frozen bananas in our freezer, I decided to make it this week and I did a double batch so that we could give some to our neighbors. So all I did is looked up easy simple banana <laughs> bread recipe i will put the link of the one i used below the only difference for me for this one is i added real vanilla to it and i also added some chocolate chips to make it more of a dessert or like late afternoon treat for throughout the week and here's a tip for you if you got a lot of chocolate for valentine's day or even christmas or who knows even halloween we just grabbed some candy canes that we received in our stockings for christmas and chopped them up for the banana bread and this was actually a mistake we just didn't have chocolate chips and we wanted to put chocolate chips in it but it actually is such a good use of that chocolate that you don't think you'll ever eat I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be better catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it's dark When it's dark I told him I would do it all for you And I know you do it for me too I can be a fighter if you want If you want yeah, I can be a fighter I can be a fighter that is it for today's video please let me know if you end up making any of these three recipes um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and it inspired you to get your home to-do list done today and I will see you next week for a very exciting video uh, stay tuned on my Instagram at after tap if you want to hear details first thanks for watching when it's done.